a block with mass m is attached to the lower end of a Hooke's law spring. When this system oscillates up and down, it has a period of t naught. The spring is then cut into two equal halves and then connected side by side in parallel with the same block hung under. What is the period when this new system oscillates up and down? The equation for the period of a spring mass simple harmonic oscillator is t equals to 2 pi square root of m over k. Right now the mass stays the same, so m is a constant, 2 pi of course is a constant. That means the period is proportional to the square root of 1 over k. So to find out how period would change when the spring changes, we just have to find out by what factor the spring constant changes. You may remember that we talked about springs in parallel and in series in the 15th work and energy video. When two springs are connected in series, the equivalent spring constant can be found by using this equation. The 1 over equivalent k equals to 1 over k1 plus 1 over k2. If I put these two halves back together, these two are identical halves. So it's like these two, they have the same k. And that means uh, this will be 1 over k plus uh, 1 over k, which is uh, 2 over k. And if you set these two equal, you'll get the equivalent spring constant is uh, half k. Since we're really cutting one spring with a force constant k into two halves. It is the backwards operation of this. So each half must have a force constant of 2k. I put 2k, 2k in series and I get half of 2k, which is k. Then I'm putting these two halves in parallel 2k, 2k in parallel. If you remember, when we put two springs in parallel, to find the equivalent spring constant, we just have to do k1 plus k2. Uh, in this case, k1 is 2k, k2 is also 2k, so the equivalent spring constant for these two in parallel is 4k. We started with a spring with a force constant k, and then end with these two in parallel, 4k. So the force constant has changed by a factor of 4. That means k changes by a factor of 4. It is in the denominator, and we have to take square root. So this is 1 half. That means the period changes by a factor of 1 half. So the answer is d. The new period is 1 half t naught. A 1 kilogram block is attached to the end of a relaxed Hooke's Law spring, released from rest and begins to oscillate up and down. The spring has a force constant of 100 newtons per meter. What is the amplitude of the resultant oscillation? What is the average speed of the 1 kilogram mass in one period? The block is released from rest. So the speed of the block is zero over here, which means uh, this is the end point. And the block oscillates uh, up and down in this region. And the amplitude we're looking for is the distance between the end point and uh, the equilibrium. So this is the amplitude. And by definition, at the equilibrium position, the net force on the block is zero. So when the block is at the equilibrium position, the net force is zero. This means the downward mg must be canceled by the upward springs force. And we know the springs force is kx. 
The mass is one kilogram, so mg is ten newtons. The spring constant is one hundred. So at the equilibrium, the spring is stretched by 0.1 meters. Since that's a relaxed spring and that's the equilibrium position, that means the distance between the equilibrium and the end point is the 0.1 meters. So this is the x max is the amplitude c. The answer is c, the amplitude is 0.1 meters. Then we need to find the average speed of the one kilogram in one period. To find the average speed, by definition, it is the distance traveled divided by the time. So the time is one period. So we need to find the period. For the period, we use the 2 pi square root of m over k. So it's 2 pi square root of the mass is 1 kilogram. The spring constant is 100. So this gives us 2 pi times 1 over 10, which is pi divided by 5. So the time is pi divided by 5. And what's the distance traveled in one period? In one period, the box would go down and then back up. And then it will repeat its own motion, repeat its motion. So in one period, the block goes down and up, which means it's one amplitude, two amplitudes, three, four. Four times the amplitude is the distance traveled. Four times the amplitude, 0.1 meters. So this gives us 0.4 divided by pi times 5, which gives us 2 divided by pi. So the average speed is 2 over pi. The answer is D.